Hi there, uh, Delroy the Spark again. I've just arrived at this job. I think it's only a small job. Somebody I've worked for before. I think they were trying to put a fitting up and um, they said it was a bit complicated for them, so they called me. So I'll, I'll go in and uh, hopefully can film it, let you see what I do. Okay. Yeah. Now I'd done that ages ago. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. No, no, I mean, and it was fine, although it was all tricky with the wiring and there may be certain wires that you just think, what are they even okay. there for? Okay, all right. Um, because you remember, bit by bit, I'd done most of the lights, and I worked it out, and I looked at YouTube. And <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> and in this case, I'd done it, Yeah. Um, even though I didn't fully understand it, but yeah. it worked, and I pushed it back, and it was You're fine. doing electrics, and you don't understand. <laughs> That's not a good. Yeah. That's but, not yeah. good to tell. I'm, I don't fully understand it, but I'm doing it. Yeah, and uh, you know, I turn it yeah. off and I um, uh, do it all properly. Yeah. It worked basically. It worked yeah. for ages, and then just one day, it just suddenly yeah. stopped working. Then for months, I just thought, yeah, yeah I never got around to it. All right, then let's. Then when I tried to get up and do it, yeah, um, and I was so uncomfortable because it's all so so <laughs> awkward. <laughs> And then what happened was, and then uh, I reconnected the wires because I was thinking, did that come out? And yeah. then I've done it, and then it just didn't work. And then when I tried to push it back, yeah. it's obviously short-circuited something and yeah. the electrics went off. Oh, cool. And that's when I just thought, oh, All right. And out. you said there's a switch or something? Uh, a dimmer switch. Um, so the light works, but then uh, it was when I was actually painting, and then when yeah. I put this back, and then it stopped doing the dimmer. And I wasn't that bad. No, see, so it's not dimming at the minute. No. Well, uh, the thing is, I don't think um, anything it's um, anything to do with connections. Uh -uh. I think that's probably a dodgy dimmer. What is the lamp? Is it LED? Uh, this actual bulb is probably not a dimmable bulb, but I'll... Just... Yeah, well, you see, that's an LED. And LED lamps... They are tricky when it comes to dimming. You have to get the right switch, you know? Right. So, it's... Yeah. yeah. Oh, the actual lamp, that's probably not even a dimmable one. So yeah, well, that's... But I'll get the dimmable yeah, one and yeah. I'll show you. But even so, even when you get a dimmable one, if yeah. the switch doesn't match, doesn't go up to... Don't match up with the light, then it's, it's aggravation. Dimming, dimming um, LEDs is problematic. Okay. But anyway... But I suppose it's new technologies going on and on. I'm sure in the future it'll be easy. Yeah. This is not that important. This was yeah. ages ago. Okay, cool. Then yep, those are the connections. You you see what you've done there? Oh. What you've done? There was a, ba uh, uh, um, a ceiling roll here, yeah? Y yes. So you've just connected them into the ceiling roll. Also, not only that, they're not um, insulated. So if they touch anything, they're going to blow. Well, in between the two points, there was, uh, I had a blue insulating Yeah, tape. but yeah, yeah, you, you, well, obviously you said you do, you didn't understand it. Yeah, yeah. You, you definitely didn't understand it. Yeah, because <laughs> all I was doing was just. Yeah, like, never mind, let's yeah. get it done. So that's what I've done there using the Wagos. Hopefully I can get them all into that cover and things should be fine. Put the light up. It wouldn't work, and that's what I found at the switch. <laughs> Your connections, oh, mate. <laughs> oh. All right, let's get that. Switch it off again. Switch the power off. Okay. So I couldn't use those um, way it goes because it wouldn't go up. This was preventing it from going up, so I had to put it in a chop box, add it all connected, put the light on. It wouldn't work, so I had to take it out again to find out. Now it's the switch. So. Going to reconnect it and get it going. So I've also had to do that because the the earth lug here that's all gone. That's not this. It's not holding anything. So I've had to put an earth to the back of the box. Reconnect the switch now. That's it. I've had to put those up there in chop boxes in the chop box because um, the cables are too short. No slack on it. So and um, those connections were too much to fit into that cover and I didn't want to push them up into the ceiling without any without them being covered so that's why I've done the chop box go on, on and off please okay off right that's all he's done all those 
just as his decoration, he's put music sheets up. Yeah. And steampunk theme. <laughs> yeah. 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 And, he's, and those draw, those, um, what's it called? Calligraphy. That's yours as well, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you made all the shelves as well, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. And with your gas mask, you got all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So that was a trick. That turned out to be a tricky little job. I thought it was something simple. But first I tried with the with those Wagos, it wouldn't work. Then I put the chop box on, uh, got it all connected. Light wouldn't come on or off. Um, when I checked, uh, it, there was no power to the switch line. So took the switch off as you saw. Then tried to connect the earth to the back of the box. The lug was gone, so I had to go and get my drill. Drill the wall and um, screw and get earth con uh, continued um, fly lead to the switch because although it was wooden the switch itself was metal and the actual switch um, part that was the toggle thing that was metal as well so I had to make sure it was earth but it's all done no problem so um, I've arrived at this other job now it's uh, the I think it needs um They've got on the floor heating and they're doing some work in the bath, bathroom. And I think the tiler um, has damaged the on the floor heating mat and they want it disconnected and make, made safe. So this place looks quite, um, well, I'll show you when I get in there. So that's the bathroom there. That's the control. So, Usually there's a spur that, that you go to a spur, then come to that. Uh, there's a couple of spurs here. So hopefully I'll find out which one it is. Okay. Right. So what I've done there, I've just switched that off and took the, took the fuse out of there. So that's dead now and there's no display on it. So um, he should be able to um, work on his mat without having to worry. Nice though, nice. Look at that. Brilliant. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, well, that turned out to be a real simple job. <laughs> Just switching off the fuse, switching off the spur, and removing the fuse. Um, the last job, the la last job, I thought that was going to be a simple job. Just. Um, just doing a few connections in the fitting, but that turned out to be long. Now, and I thought I'd have more trouble here, but that turned out to be simple. Nice, to nice toilet though. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> That's just the toilet, not a shower room or bathroom. It's a toilet. Glass, you can see from see the outside. Glass wall, really nice, man. The rest of the place look look really nice as well. Cool. Thanks for watching.